How's it going everyone? I hope you're doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well today. Uh, so today I'm going to be going through the startup tutorial for the DCS FA18C Hornet. Uh, this is the way I do it. It's basically how it is in the manual for DCS. Maybe a couple things are slightly different. I'm not completely sure. But this is how I do it and this is just how I, how I do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to right click the battery switch to battery. So, and then what we're going to go is over here to the fire test. There's two channels that make it redundant. So we're going to go with the fire test A and hold this down. Fire left. This Engine is a right fire click, left. by the way. Engine fire right. Engine fire right. APU fire. APU fire. Bleed air left. Bleed air left. Bleed air right. Bleed air right. All right, and then we're going to come up here and we're going to turn on our two MFDs. We're going to set it to day because it's daytime. Turn the HUD on and we're going to turn the MPCD on. And then we're going to go here to the standby HSD or HSI, whatever it's called. And we're going to hold the right click and then scroll down and then uncage it. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to turn our FLIR on if we have it, which we do. And we're going to set our radar to operational and INS to ground. And now we're going to come back here and we're going to do fire test B. Engine fire left. The left click. Engine fire left. Engine fire right. Engine fire right. APU fire. APU fire. Bleed air left. Bleed air left. Bleed air right. Bleed air right. All right, now we have that done. We can come over here. We can turn the oxygen on, the OBOGs here. And then we can right and I right click turn the APU on. And we'll let that run. And the plays are coming with a left click. Alright. Our APU is on, you can see the, the green light, and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna right click the engine crank switch to right engine. And we're gonna be watching here our RPM. And we're gonna wait till it gets to about 20%. And then we are going to start the right engine with right shift and home. And let that spool up. Are on. Controls. Controls. So we're going to go to the right MFD and we're going to click this for the bit page. And actually first we're going to come down here to the MPCD and we're going to click stored heading and start that alignment. So we're going to come back up to this MFD here. And then here we're going to be doing a flight control system bit. So it's with this switch here and you can click that and then click the button or you can hold down Y as in Yankee on your keyboard. So what I do, and then you click FCS here. And you can see here that it's in test, so it's going to go through. And you can see that we all the flight control Alright, and now that's complete. So what we can do now is we can crank the left engine with a left click there and then the same thing we're going to wait for this to spool up to 20 percent and now we're going to hit right alt plus home and we're going to move the left throw of the idle and also what you can do is you can use this switch here and set your flaps to half for takeoff and set bingo with these arrows here. I have a little dial in my hotel to do it. usually set it to about 4,000 pounds. Um, and now what we can do is we can set this page to the FCS and we can come over here and we can click this down for a second or so and set takeoff trim and we can press reset and we'll get rid of all these warnings. 
And also what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to bleed air and we're going to click the bottom part of the knob. We're going to right click it four times until it gets around to bleed air. You can hear that come on now and it gets rid of that warning. And then what we can also do is you can click on bit here and turn on our HMD if you have that, which you probably do. And then you can go to displays and HMD and you're going to see this cycle through all different tests. Alright, and we can click stop, and then we can go here, and here, and click on HMD, and then align, and then what we could do is come over here, line this up, and then press cage, uncage, or sorry, oops, hold cage, uncage, Alright, and then you can use the TDC slew to line these up better and press cage and cage to do that. And then we're done with that. We're going to click this over to FCS, set this one to HUD, that's pretty typical for takeoff and landing. And now our alignment is done, so we can come back over to the INS and we can click it over to NAV or IFA in flight alignment. I usually do IFA. You can do both. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. I don't know if it makes too much of a difference in DCS, but that's just what I do. Now also, we're going to come over here and click this button here to turn on the ALR67 RWR. You can set our electronic countermeasures to receive. You can come up to IFF and click on that and then click on. Tack in, we can turn on. ILS, we can turn on as well. We're just going to spin around because there's nothing, it's not receiving anything. Um, and I can click on this to re-cage that and get that. And then also, we're going to come over here and set our altimeter, zero that out. And then also, we're going to turn on our RWR and set this. Usually, I do 450 or 500 feet. I do that little test on that. Um, come over here turn on lights on position and formation and you're also going to need the hotas i think it's called the pinky switch check in settings actually exterior light switch and then turn that on so you can turn the lights on um and now when you're ready to taxi you can contact the tower and lock our strap our harness on the ejection seat and turn clear on and we are ready to go so thank you for watching i hope you found this helpful um if you have any tips for something i could do better next time that's greatly appreciated um I might, i'll probably be doing other startup tutorials and other tutorials with the horn f16 things like that but for the time being i hope you enjoyed or found this helpful and i hope i'll see you next time